I never set out to make documentaries starring my mother. Well, I had always hoped that you would have children, and they'll be my grandchildren. I want you to make a film about our eyes are the world. Too often, we see education as a gift to be bestowed upon black students instead of as a public good to be accessed. We do public school! We do public school! I'm just a parent who's angry about something and who wants to stand up and say something about it. You defeating Emerson and Mangal, can you really see yourself killing that up? Of course, I'm ready for it. In trying to preserve Manzanar, I've sort of turned a negative experience and tried to use it to educate other people and to try to learn a lesson. Shall we go? Sure. Okay. Hi, my name is Elizabeth, also known as Liz, and I am a representative of GGT. GGT stands for God Given Talent. Uh, the inspiration by GGT is um, based on, well, the inspiration initially came from the, the talent within the black community. Also, myself and other GGT team members, we are quite well travelled in terms of our crop, moving around, um, seeing people's talents regardless of their circumstances or their financial capabilities, whether poor, rich, old, young, the talent is always there, how they could make nothing, something out of nothing. So yeah, whatever it is that you want to do, don't be scared, just do it. God gives us all the talent, whoever your God is, we all under the same sun. God gives us the talent, whatever talent it is you have, go out there, utilize it, do your best with it, make your best with it. Do not be afraid because we all have a good given talent. Extremely, extremely well. We are, we're all messed up around him, and I promise you, we are going to move heaven and earth to be sure he fulfills his dream, and I believe it's your dream. Becomes world champion. Well, anyway, well done, son. Did oh. you proud of him? Yeah, yeah, I'm really proud. Did you enjoy watching Jay yeah. son? Greetings and welcome to Bath 2022 Awards Ceremony. Introducing your hosts, Femi Oyunirim and Mosik Lavantel. from this year's official selections. A process that started all the way back in September with under the stewardship of festival director Justin Chinieri. Tonight we have 
a room full to the brim with talent from not just across the UK, but internationally. And I'm thrilled to tell you guys that we have a new category for this year's award show. It's the best international film. So look forward to that. And there is um, something else that's uh, new about this award show this year. Can anybody guess? Hey. I am absolutely honoured, for me to be hosting the Shares Award Show. Doesn't she look wonderful? I, thank you. Guys, come on, take, take your selfies, take you. your pictures now. So no, you, you look good too, Life shooter, come on. Go on. <laughs> the tongue out, why? Uh, I don't know. It's a problem. It's a, I need to stop. I need to stop. No, but thank you for joining me this year. Um, it's, you know, we've got lots of awards to go through, so it's nice to have someone to share the workload with. And we're not going to waste any more of your time. We're going to proceed to the best short film category. And the outstanding nominees in this category are... My Jerome, directed by Ajani Salmon. Hey, hey, my yard people, that's up. Done, done. Oh, 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 oh. Dysphoria, directed by Yanis Chum. Energy, energy over there. Let's go. I see you. You are felt, you are seen. <laughs> um, 54 days. This is a competition. I was going to say, whoa. This is a competition. I'm scared <laughs> to, for one of you not to win because I don't know what noise you're going to make. You know, I'm just joking. Dire co directed by Cat White and Phoebe Torrance. And Poswood Pop, directed by Kenneth Moore. So let's take a look at their fine work. But he was with those boys, smoking weed and yeah, all Yeah, and so what? Of... Bev. Bev what? After you dare not even believe your own son? Yeah. Jerome used to smoke weed and all sorts, so what? Uh... Come on, Bev. We all want Jerome home to dear. And we all believe him as well. And true. Them white men there, eh? look for any black boy to throw in jail. Seem like back in our days. Exactly. We have nah man, this man you're talking about, them don't know. If you don't think him innocent, nobody waste your time a cooking up. Bev, no one is saying that. Me don't need nobody a pity me in my own house. Bev. You still listening? Nothing works. Therapies, retreats, Reiki, crystal healing, psychics. Sex? Are you taking me seriously? I'm really You should try to get More gas and bullet. More gas and bullet. I'm pouring my heart out here. You're not much of a friend, are you? Lucia, I'm not your friend. You should be your friend. Ayo, <笑> Oh. 
Nice clips there. Um, I really like the one with the toy, but there's kids here, so we won't get into it. <laughs> it could only be you, Femi. It could only be you, honestly. <laughs> um. Right. And the winner is, the winner of the Best Short Film Award is 54 Days by Pat White. <laughs> awards for the price of one. This is what we're doing. So I feel a bit sick. <laughs> you've got this, you've got this. You won the award, honey. Thank you. I don't know who did the voting and who did the selection. I feel really speechless. I've always thought when people get up on the stage and have these moments, they don't know what to say. I think whatever, but I genuinely don't know what to say because I did not expect to be here saying this. This film is a tribute to my uncle and to my friend who I lost in 2020 and 2021. I started wild swimming because I didn't know how to handle my grief in the pandemic. And this is a film about hope and healing after loss. I am so proud and grateful and thankful to Buff for this honour for a film that means so much to me. Thanks. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting in trouble. You have to walk the other way. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Walk that way, sorry. Look, look. Sorry. So guys, we'll walk on that way, we'll walk on that way. Absolutely. Thank you. The, the show has just started. I'm, I'm already getting emotional. That was me. Wow. My eyes are watering. My eyes are okay, guys. Okay, good. Is it? <laughs> Me, I'm an empath. I can honestly can't hold it in. I cannot hold it in. Right, we move uh, swiftly on to category number two, the Blessing and Yayam Osigwe Best Actress Award. Now, this award is named after Buff founder Emmanuel and Yayam Osigwe. No, sorry, the mother of Buff founder who is who sadly died, sorry, in 2015. So, the Best Actress Award is named in her honor, and there'll be four nominees. Would you like to tell us the nominees, Femi? Shim Fei Shen for a performance in Dysphoria. <laughs> Sophie Cartman for Four O'Clock Flower. We're adding the sound effects now. <laughs> we're, we're up in the ante. Um, Khalees Gordon for Long Walk Home. Khalees is not here, she's not here. Because I'm not hearing noise. No, you have to give it, give it some, come on. And let it see for Remember Me, the Mahalia Jackson story. Let's take a look at these ladies in action. Stop letting your brain play fucking chemical tricks on you. If you can be addicted to happiness, then you can be addicted to pain. What happened? That's your fight, my hell, you're not mine. I know a lie when I see it, Sigmund. I've been through lies with my first husband and I refuse to go through it with you. I'm not gonna let you break me. I wasn't trying to break you, my hell, yeah. I was trying to love you. Not the way I deserve to be loved. That's my cue. 
I'm getting my things. No. Off. I'll send you your things. I think you'd better... Did he look calm when he left? I don't know. They said he did. I didn't say. We'd do anything for them, wouldn't we? Of course. Avenge them if they'd been wronged? I don't know. Wouldn't you? Look, I think... Wouldn't you do anything to protect him? Dead or alive? Your son? Huh? Yes, of course I would. I thought so. Thank you for letting me use the bathroom. Make you feel powerful. What was that? You feel like a man now. You sad, unloved, fake little creep. Not getting any home, are you? Say one more word, and I'll arrest you. And the award for best actress goes to Sophie Cartman <laughs> for Four O'Clock Flowers. Woo! would happen to me. Um, I just want to say thank you to Peter Callow, the director, Louise, who wrote the, wrote the play initially and then turned it into a film and kept me on board. Um, all my friends who support, my parents who are here right now supporting me in right. ways I've never done. Um, yeah, and I love this industry and thank you so much to Buff. I'm, I'm just really shocked. I, just, I don't, know. <laughs> don't know what else to say. Um, yeah. Thank you! Thank you! Don't forget your award. You need to take the award. That's, it's right there. I love that energy. Just come up on screen. We are now going to move on to the British Urban Film Festival Award for Best Actor. Now, the list of previous winners include winners such as Clint Dyer. No, you're supposed to give them that. <laughs> We've had David Oyelowo will win this award. Or, or David Oyelowo. Well, tell you what, we'll talk, <laughs> David Elwood has won this award. And last year's winner are George Russo. The four outstanding nominees in this category are Nicholas Pillock for his performance in Can I Help? Kalechi <laughs> Uchebe for his performance in Collision, collision Course. <laughs> Joel Johnson for the track. <laughs> and Bally Gill for Bus Driver. Very talented men in work. You think? That's what I said. Yes, you bloody did. Jesus, just let us off. Shut up. we got to stop him. You move another inch and I will cut her. Do you understand? Hey, hey, what are you doing? He's got my sister. There's a bum in that bag, driver. No, 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 that's not my bag. He's fucking lying. Whose bag is it then? 
I'd like all of you off this bus now. Move out the way. I can't do that, driver. It isn't safe. OK. OK. Come on, just, just let her go. And let's leave the Get bus. Get the fuck off me! Get that oh, off me! Shut up! <laughs> Big look, he's got a bloody detonator! Do something! Are you looking forward to it? I wish I could just go to a five-star hotel. I always loved the, um, pillows. Four across, 11 letters, four set of, uh, circumstances. Um, wait, yes. Opportunity. Opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to come with me, you know. Someone has to go with you. I know. Thank you. It's fine. I wanted to do it. I'm glad. What you did, Tom? You did drive me my with AC, carry two girls. But me, I go day for road from morning till night under hot sun. And then for night again, where I'm supposed to rest. They go tell me, say, make I call the protection from arm robber. If arm robber come, who they go call? Now you have been at me. Officer, demanding money from me at gunpoint is arm robbery. You are the arm robber. So you know go drop. You know, go appreciate our effort. For what? No, for what? Why? Are you saying you cannot appreciate us? Do you know the, we, we put our lives on the line for you? I get family, oh. I get children. But I'm protecting you. Oh God, I come out to protect you. Oh God, they don't force you to be a policeman. Eh? You chose to join the police force. Now you have to live with the consequence of that choice. I'm a lawyer. A whole day off. Yeah, what a treat. Come for the top, mate. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, cheers, mate. such a talented actor and he really deserves this so um, I'm thrilled to pick this up for him and I can also say I spoke to him last week and he was just so thrilled to be nominated you know he said look being nominated is the award to be honest everyone here tonight uh, your films are so strong so we're just happy to be in in this company so thanks again Sorry about what you're doing, sorry. 
Donkey Boss, directed by Kit Akinduyi. Four O'Clock Flowers, directed by Peter Callow. And Pattern, directed by Ivan Madero. Right, let's take a look at these brilliant festival films. I know I'm not supposed to take revenge, but I swear I'll... I don't want to hurt you. No, you leave that to your son. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish I could change it. I wish you had... I wish you had done my heart. Admit it. To say your son is not home. Please. He's not at home. No. At least at the end of the day, I know that my family is safe. Are they, though? Come on, then. Yeah? Why the fuck do you care? Where the fuck have you been? Why the fuck did you leave me? Stop making a scene, Nathan. Yeah, this is nothing more than a business deal. Don't get it confused. Don't take it to heart, man. Things. It's just a coffee. It's a blatant disregard for what we've already agreed, actually. Right, actually agreed. This is something we've agreed. Right, okay. The disengagement, yeah. the protocols, the fucking lawyers. Mm. And now you're gonna rip it all up and create some new just, I'm not Paradigm. I'm not ripping know, anything up. Fucking situation. It's just, it's just a coffee. This letter, I'm, not, I'm not ripping I mean, anything up. I don't remember it. Really? I don't remember well, it. I, yeah, I, Where the fuck is this letter come from? I don't from? remember it either. It's do you nice remember letter. it? It's Seriously, do you remember the day we actually wrote this? I have no memory of this letter. It's it's fucking material. Matt, it is our letter. It's in our handwriting. So wh why are you getting so stressed about but it? Do you remember it? Do you remember writing it with me? No, I don't. name I know what he uh, means to a lot of people so that is a huge honor and uh, something that's very touching um, and I, I really want to thank the festival Buff that you are such a special festival and there's so much love um, that comes from Emmanuel your original founder and Justin you are film like filmmaker led and, uh, and that's something we as filmmakers really appreciate so thank you Buff and I want to also, um, uh, yeah, it is a great festival, and it is, really is. It's, it's, it's the real deal. 
And uh, I want to also congratulate all the nominees. What was said earlier is absolutely right. Getting in the room and being nominated is the award. And it's just a, such a privilege to be among so many talented people, filmmakers, writers, producers, actors, and that in itself is a huge honor. So thank you, Buck. Thank you. Now, the fifth award of the evening is the British Urban Film Festival Award for the Best Documentary. And it's sponsored by PBS, the American Public Broadcaster. Let's have some noise for PBS. Woo! The list of previous winners in this category includes Amy, Deleted, My yeah. Dominica Story. Whoa, 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 all right, all right. I love that energy. He was definitely involved in that. And last year's winner, Ultraviolence. The four outstanding nominees are Budlia, The Unchained Story, directed by Tracy Curiango. <laughs> Phenom, directed by Kayla Johnson. Hostile, <laughs> directed by Sunita Gale. And Black Daddy, the movie, directed by Damon Jamal Taylor. Let's take a look at these uh, very great documentaries. At what points did things change? Black race relations disintegration. This is either oversight or misinformation. Isn't it wrong that families are being forced into destitution? Um, well, look, I'm, I'm going to have to come back to you on that. The leadership are detached from ordinary people. They haven't seen the people first time we have. This pandemic exposed all of these cracks. This is my home. What do we want? Why should I fight to be part of the society that I've grown up in? What's my crime? This is kiddish. It's foolish. It's not British. It's brutish. This is make or break time. The thing that I saw in Flage that made me want to bring her to LSU was talent, first of all. She's a Georgia girl, so she's very familiar with the SEC. We got it hard down here in the dirty south. We come from the mud, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I just feel like it's a different type of breed, like different type of hunger. She's just real dogs come out of Georgia. She's so talented. She loves basketball as much as she does rapping, and she's pretty darn good in both. Her interest in LSU was as much as our interest in her. She's only scratched the surface. Somebody's gonna yank that young lady up someday, and uh, when I'm in my old rocking chair, I'm gonna say, I coached that kid at one time because she's that talented. She wanted to be a part of what we're doing at LSU, and I am indebted and forever grateful to her for that. At the age of 20, I got into a fight in a nightclub when my older sister was attacked by three women. These three women were older than me. And to be honest with you, I don't know what I should have done different. I can own up that I hit someone and beat somebody up, but I don't know if I would have ever let my sister be attacked and beaten up. I was on bail for a year and then sentenced on the 9th of February 2009 to two and a half years in prison. It was my first offence. I had never been in trouble with the police. My life ended and began with a prison sentence. I know men who are incarcerated who reach out to their children. I know men who, who have been to court just to stay in their child's life. I know men who are in great relationships with their significant other. I, for one, I surround myself like that so that I continue to, to be around iron and sharpen that iron so I can be a better father, you know? And I really feel like the men that represent my community all over the world needs to hear this message. We need strength, we need healing. Ain't nobody ever told me that, bro. We need to be vulnerable. We need spaces that we can come together and talk about our issues, talk about the things that uh, that we're dealing with and the, 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 the obstacles that we have, the struggles that we have surrounding fatherhood and, you know, family. I really just want to put something together to kind of like rally, rally the men. Yes. Well, <laughs> that was honestly my fair. I found that we are going to handle the awards because 
Yeah. I'm clumsy too, so this is. Recipe for disaster. We're doing very well. We are. The best documentary winner is. I do. Badila, The Unchained Story by Tracy Kimbo. Thank you, I'm sorry I got your award. Let me polish it a little bit. Adeshola, Sunday, Onyi, Adejopi, and there's two of them, two Nigerians, two Yorubas, long Yoruba names. Isaac, Oluwole, Olaleye, Ol oh, I'm even saying it wrong, I've been in England too long. Olaleye, let's take a look at what these global offerings look like. What issue? You mean what you told me before about replacing you in the occult? No way. But that is the only solution to the predicament on ground. That's the only solution. Look, your sister is seriously ill. And I will lose my life if you fail to comply. Look. Don't you care about me? Don't you care about your family? We are all you have got since the death of your mom and other siblings. Look, I will do anything for you. Baba today, do you really wish me dead? Fellas ain't allowed to enter through the front door. They must enter through the kitchen. Sir, how do I sing and not be seen? Simple. Stop complaining and do your job. So you don't want to see my black skin walk through the front door, and I can sing all I want as long as I stay in the back? Miss Jackson, these are the rules, and if you cannot abide by them, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. All them people are out there to hear me. You mean they can pay all this money to hear me sing as long as I hide in the kitchen when I'm through? Miss Jackson, I don't make the rules. I'm just following the law. I know the law. But not every venue enforces it. Well, we follow the law in Georgia. 
then the law will be my voice. And even the people that don't want to see me will hear me. They'll remember me. You make more from one gig than many of these guys make in a whole year. Some of them even suffer PTSD and need counseling. We'll be fine. Let's just get it over with. Ah, ah. Well done, no. <laughs> See everywhere fresh. See, they really do romance in Saika. <laughs> fine, boy. Make you smile now. Yes, man. Happy weekend, though. Uh, Madam, good evening, no? Oh, good evening. Uh, well done. So, anything for the boys? I got nothing, man. I don't get anything. Ah, ah, ah. Fine, boy. Now, we did here, they put their lives and properties. You See what we did for those tonight, eh? Make you find us something, even if last month. I got nothing, do. Eh. Okay, put on your inner lights now. Show me your copy patch. Come show me what you get for your boots. Officer, there's nothing in my trunk. Uh, it's just stuff from work. That's all, no? Oga, I want to see the junk in your trunk. James Hughes. 
Waiting man go do. I don't know what I can never say that without having seen it. But yeah, Waiting Man Go Do, directed by Lucas Wright Wrightman. And Remember Me, the Mahalian Jackson song, directed by the Lee Bowers. That film has been nominated for everything. It has everything. Yeah, it means that we should check it out. Um, time now for a brief musical interview. Excuse wears many hats. Right, and the winner for best soundtrack is. Drum roll, please. Last <laughs> four. Silent World! <laughs> By Charlie Dennis. We have a Charlie Dennis here. Perhaps, maybe. Let's do something. Something that happens. The director, Charlie Dennis, the writer and director, isn't here. But I'm the producer, Michael Newton. Um, just want to say thank you. Um, I called like all my favorites of the short film. Um, put a lot into it. Sankid is um, a deaf rapper, so we thought, thought a lot about the sound. And um, yeah, it feels really good to bring something about the music and the sound, because yeah, we put a lot of thought into it. So yeah, thank you. Both in flesh and in, and in spirit. 
And whilst the film and, tele and television world has lost so many people, far too many for our liking, may we, may we all take this moment to give thanks and to cherish the memories of those in our own personal lives who were close to us and who have given us joy. Tomorrow is a day that we all think we have. Let's take a moment. irresistible force that she is. You know, she's a force of nature. Oh my god. Madame, no, over where we were you to any of where women were mosas. Represented you and your family and Britain and boxing extremely, extremely well. We are, we're all massively proud of him, and I promise you, we are going to move heaven and earth to be sure he fulfills his dream, and I believe it's your dream. It becomes a world champion. Well, anyway, well done, son. Did you proud of him? Yeah, yeah, I was really proud. Did you enjoy watching Jay this time? chosen from a pool of script entries to which audiences were treated to readings of on Zoom. Ladies and gentlemen, for her script, The Burden of Light, the first recipient of this year's Best Live Script Award is Ellen Alexis Yonoff. Speech as well. 
As many of you know, um, I am a little bit of an anglophile. I wish I were with you uh, in order to accept this award myself. To be included in this festival is an honor because of its mission. I'm so thrilled to have one of the, to have been one of the best recipients of Buff Screenplay Awards. It means a great deal to be recognized along with the two other amazing winners. I congratulate ever, every winner and nominee. To my fellow screenwriters and filmmakers, your voice matters. It took me 12 years to write The Burden of Light. Please never stop believing that your voice matters enough to see it through. I'm thankful that I did. Thank you. Holding it down, man. I mean, she's the dog. Like, I want to be her friend. Honestly, she knows everyone. Great I want to network her. <laughs> she knows everyone in this room. Like, she's top. Um, for his script, I'm a god. The second recipient of this year's Best Live Script Award is Stephen G. Graham. <laughs> Mr. Don Amoke. Welcome to 
celebrate today is the best of independent filmmaking. You know, it is, it is tough. It's never an easy job. Um, 20 years of filmmaking is monumental in any way you could say it. Um, on my way down here, I was having a conversation with um, some of my other colleagues and, and you know, Something occurred to me, which is, you know, as a filmmaker, and the good thing is that we're all filmmakers in this field, as a filmmaker, you have basically two lives as a filmmaker. And, you know, your first life starts, the, you know, the moment you receive that calling that you want to make films and you want to tell stories, you know. And I can see you'll be smiling, but you would. It would, it would agree with me when your second life starts. Your second life starts when the box office, of box office receipts come in <laughs> after your first film. And then you realize that about 70% of the money you make as an independent filmmaker goes to the government, goes to the exhibitors, goes to the distributors. And then out of the remaining 30%, or less, that comes to you, you have to pay the investors, the people that have believed in you. You have to find money for research and development because you have to make a new idea. And then from wherever is left, your family, loved ones, and those that have supported you would have to share. And that is if there's anything left. So you're constantly, as a filmmaker, trying to find out of the limited resources available to you find ways to make your second film, because that's the only thing that keeps you sane in this process. So now imagine you doing that year after year after year after year for 20 years, making movies, not knowing where the money for the next movie will come from, for that being. Obi, um, what we're celebrating today is your tenacity. Mm -hmm. What we're celebrating here today is your dedication. Mm -hmm. You know, what we're celebrating here today is your consistency. Mm -hmm. um, for every film director, for every filmmaker, you you know you carry you you know you carry the hopes of an army of crew that believe in you and trust in you. And in the independent filmmaking experience, you never get rich from doing this. You know, nobody does this to become rich. You just want to tell stories. And to do that for 20 years. And in that 20 year process, you mentor a lot of people. I was in Nigeria recently with Obi. And Obi, you remember that gentleman? I can't remember his name. Uh, a grown man, you know. Of my age, you know, he was there with his wife. And Obi and I were having a conversation on what we were going to have for lunch. And then I saw this grown man walk up to Obi and he prostrated flat out on his chest. His wife went on her knees and they were like, This man, this man saved my life. This man brought me into films. This man gave me his couch to sleep on when I didn't know what my future would be in films. And this is not just to Obi alone, it is to every director, to every producer, to every leader in the film process. You have a lot of people that rely on you. 
And that drive alone is what continues to propel you. And as you succeed, you bring these people along. So Obi, not only are we celebrating the mentorship, in the words of Nigerians, we are celebrating your awesome. I say it again, we are celebrating your awesome. Because it, because it is easy. And you know, and I really love the crowd down here because it is we celebrating one of us. I think we have the videos of a few of the films that Obi have made for you guys to see what this man has done over 20 years. Can we see the videos? I'm trying to find my way to the Catholic Church. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Why are you picking? What's the point of the mission if we can't help those who truly need salvation? Oh, that is. I survived this jungle because I understand these streets. And that's exactly what I am teaching these boys to survive. However, Tijan will unfortunately be leaving us soon. Tell me it's not true. I don't know. Mom didn't tell me nothing. You're African and you should be proud of it. I was born here. I'm British, not Gambian. You need to go home to discover who you really are. Who are you and what do you want from me? I ain't going anywhere with you. <laughs> You're invisible or something, and I'm the only one that can see you, innit? I need your attention for the next 24 hours. Or I'll make sure you live out the rest of your life in shame. This comes out, I'm, I'm, I'm finished. Nikki will finally leave me and take the kids. But these guys could be operating from anywhere in the world. They have videos and photos. Compromise on all of us. What would you do if you were to know that they are following you? I'm finished, Ruben. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please be upstanding for the Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Mr. Obi Eludogi.
everything that I thought I was going to say is irrelevant now. All there is to say is to thank Buff for giving us hope, for giving us the courage to continue to knock on the door, to be noticed, to have a voice. Um, it's not easy, it hasn't been easy. As Don said, it's uh, a toil trying to inspire yourself and motivate others. Um, and while we wait for the millions to come, we have to keep the day job. And, and my day job right now is working as a lecturer in filmmaking at the University of Huddersfield. It's a job, a job that I enjoy because it gives me the opportunity to contextualize my practice, look at things from a slightly different perspective, and to inspire a new generation of storytellers to come after me. I'm at that age now where it's no longer about you. It's more of the legacy. Um, I accept this award on behalf of all the filmmakers here who are still believing who are still working very hard in spite of the odds. Um, but I won't accept this award without mentioning some of the people who have supported this journey, especially in the darkest hours. The first person to recognize is my beautiful wife. There she is in front. I sold her a dream. And now she believes the dream more than I do. <laughs> and my children, um, two of them here, one is at university, couldn't make it. Um, and my team, Andrew, the people that I've supported, working for hard to pay, working for different wages, just to make sure that we produce something, get something out. Um, I owe this to, to them for supporting me, to, 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 for standing on their shoulders to reach my dreams. Um, let me say a final word for what BOF stands for. Um, in a world where talent is not enough for some of us, or effort is not enough for some of us to achieve what we deserve, establishments like BOF provide a, a pedestal, a showcase for us to come together, to network, to appreciate each other, to make some noise, to keep knocking on the doors until our argument becomes compelling. And you know, there are not a lot of awards that are doing the same thing, or festivals that are doing the same thing. And I've known Emmanuel for a few years now. Um, I guess saying that tells my age. <laughs> um, Emmanuel has been, uh, you know, the hustle has made our paths to cross in the past few years. Um, and now Justin has taken over the mantle. It is a great job they're doing. It is an invaluable job they're doing. And they deserve every encouragement, every love, every appreciation. And thank you very much, everybody, for coming. And for celebrating me like that, I, I, I don't know. This is, this is beyond my dreams. God bless you. Thank you. achieve because you're too busy in the grind you're too busy in the hustle and you're trying to make the next thing and and you're like people are always asking you what's next that's my worst i hate that question it's like let me just enjoy the fact that i've just got through one <laughs> before asking me what's next but yeah people are always asking what's next and so we're always challenging ourselves to do what's next 
And so it's good to see someone that has, has had such a long-standing career and now being able to give back as a lecturer. I think it's important work that, you know, has, has been achieved and it's beautiful and it's, it's, it's wonderful that that work is being recognised here and that Emmanuel and the guys at Buff, Justin uh, uh, and Claire and everyone else on the team is recognising the hard work that goes into making an independent film because as someone that has been part of it for 18 years, it's not easy. Um, but, but that brings us to the end of the evening. You're supposed to be like, oh. Aww. Oh, so sadly. So, so sadly. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I said, she's the only person that matters. Everyone else is irrelevant. She wants to go home. She wants to have some sweets. She wants to get out of here. I understand that. Don't worry. Right. So, you have witnessed greatness tonight. You have witnessed buffness tonight. Never, ever to be repeated again. On behalf of, because, um, you know. This is the first time we've had a co-host. And next year, she might just take over. She was good, no? Yeah! yeah. More, more power to women. I like you, more power. I do. More, I'm, I'm all about pushing forward the, the, the women, <laughs> diversity, everything. No to Femi, yes to all the great women in the world. Um, on behalf of everyone working on this event, I very much hope that you took as much away from it as we did. And I, I very much hope that everyone in this room is able to, you know, sort of network and continue to build on the relationships that exist in this room. And um, thank you so much, Mozik. I've really enjoyed having you co-host tonight. Thank you so much, Femi. No, just to echo everything you said, Femi, and, you know, what you said about, you know, buff recognising talent and it being a, a, a journey where it's like you're in it for the long run. It's not, it's not something where it's overnight success, it's challenging, not even just in film, but just in media or in like the creative industries um, as a whole, it's super hard. So it's so important to have festivals like Buff and I will continue to definitely support Buff and I think everybody here already does and I'm just hoping you guys, you know, if you're posting on socials, anything like that, make sure you're tagging Buff, sharing, um, sharing Buff content, whatever it may be, just to get the word out there and, you know, to just create a bigger audience for next year and even big, a bigger audience. We're going to go bigger and better each and every year. So tonight's event has been a Buff Studios production. <laughs> To our winners, many, many congratulations. To our sponsors and partners, we thank you so very much. To everyone here at Rich Mix, thank you for choosing to be with us on this special, special evening. So it's a goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from me. Bye. Bye. And it's a goodbye from our best friend at the front. Until we do it all again next year, have yourselves a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. A little early, you know, Merry Christmas. <laughs> And uh, me and Femi, we're now off to count our blessings, and you should too. So, good night, everybody. Good night.